Yo, what's up, Leo? This is your weekly moon reading all about what's going to go down for you during this full moon in Leo, transitioning into this waning abyss in Virgo and Libra. So that's January 28th through February 3rd. And because you guys are Leos and this full moon is in Leo, that means you're definitely going to feel the energy is a lot heavier than the other signs. But let's see what spirit has in store for you. So we're going to start with a general reading and then transition into a lure reading. So spirit, what is going to go down for this full moon phase for Leo this week? The full moon in Leo for Leo. Okay, I'm going to start with the one on top. Because that just felt inauthentic. All right, that one wanted to come out too, so we'll take it. Ooh, we have the lovers. Let's start with this. So the lovers is all about harmony. It's all about alignment. This can definitely even symbolize something in terms of your literal lover. You could definitely be meeting your romantic partner this this full moon phase, but I'm definitely sensing for you, this is more about getting in, in touch with your passions, getting in touch with your dreams, really coming together with your divine masculine and divine feminine. It's definitely creative energy. So the lovers is a beautiful card. I, I love that we're talking about the full moon in Leo and the lovers comes out and this is a Leo reading. So then we have nine of wands, stand your ground energy. So you might have to defend yourself a little bit. I love the moon phases on top. Sorry, I get so distracted. I try to channel everything at once, but this is definitely defend, defend yourself energy. There's something you might have to be standing your ground against. It could also just mean resilience and really going through with your dreams, going full throttle with your dreams this week, at least during this full moon phase. So what's going to go down for Leo during this Waning Gibbous in Virgo. Thank you. Ooh. So we have Princess of Discs. So this is about getting those coins. You're definitely getting your coins in a few days. I don't know if, if you started planting seeds recently, if you really are engaging in side hustles, but this is about getting your money up. So you're definitely, you can expect blessings to come your way in a few days. And if you've been like, yo, I haven't even like put forth the ether effort, don't, don't ever underestimate the power of intention. If you ask for money from the universe, the universe will find a magical way to deliver it to you. It's all about the power of belief. It's not about doing, it's about believing. All right, so what else is gonna go down for Leo during this waning gibbous phase in Libra? Wow, did you see that? Okay, four of wands. Four of wands energy is about a happy union. This can be about marriage. There's a lot about romance and love here, which is wonderful because this is a Leo reading and that's what Leos are all about. They're about love, they rule the heart chakra, but this is the waning gibbous phase in Libra. So. By the end of the week, by February 3rd, you can expect that everything has come to fruition beautifully, exactly the way you wanted it to, Leo. This is about stability, security, spiritual union. Things are working out for you, Leo. This, this is a really good week for you. All right, spirit. What else is going down for Leo this week? I hear Shuffle once, cut three times. So what's gonna go down for Leo during the full moon phase? One, two, three. What's gonna go down for Leo during the full moon phase? Full moon phase, thank you. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus, love that. We're talking about the full moon. Full moon comes out. Dreams need a practical plan, people. This is definitely about coming into alignment with your dreams, your passions, total Leo energy. So what's gonna go down in the waning gibbous phase for Leo? Waning gibbous phase, wow. Surrender to the divine, full moon, love it, okay. Definitely about release. This is, so during this week, you are going to focus on accomplishing your dreams, having your dreams come to fruition. Wow, that was crazy. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. That You know what, pay attention to your dreams too. That word keeps coming out, so you could be dreaming literally about something that has something to do with prosperity in your future, stability in your future. You could be dreaming about your lover, but definitely pay attention to your dreams, Leo. 
All right. What else is going to go down for Leo this week? Okay. What's going to go down for Leo this week? During this lunar week, I should say. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. You guys are dreamers this week, Leo. So much about dreaming, so much about creation. Things are really coming together for you during this lunar cycle, during these two lunar cycles, full moon and waning gibbous. Everything is coming together. So make sure you're planting the seeds. Make sure you're setting the intention. All right, what other energies are coming Leo's way? during these two moon cycles. Wow, okay. So we have close encounters. 10, interesting. 10 is all about completion. And you know what? You, you very well could be meeting your, your soulmate, a romantic partner during this full moon or, or waning gibbous phase because, you know, all of these cards about this double energy, like man, woman, divine counterpart, close encounters, you definitely could be meeting someone or just getting closer with your person. So exposed and revealed sacred reference. Interesting. I feel like you got, yep. Something about this clairvoyancy vision, you're definitely going to be getting messages. You're going to get revelations. Things are going to be exposed through your dreams. Surrender to the divine sacred reference. So much about the, like, yeah, the divine, so much about divinity, so much about things going on in the celestial realm for you. A lot of heart energy, too. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So, Spirit, what else can you tell us about what's going down for Leo? What's going down for Leo during this lunar cycle during these two lunar cycles actually thank you red forgive so is there someone you need to forgive could this person be coming back from your past leo mm. maybe you're hoping someone forgives you but i love <sighs> there's something in here about like other another person i love that that just is speaking through this reading there's something in here about Someone else, close encounters, the lovers, four of wands. Who is this person, Leo? Okay. What else is going down for Leo this week? This lunar week. What's going down for Leo this oh, love? Total Leo energy. Okay, I'm, I'm convinced there's a lover in your midst. Could be around... Be mindful of today, January 28th. It is a full moon. You never know. What's going down for Leo during this full moon and waning give a space spirit? Helpless and hopeless. Aw, you know what? With forgive and helpless and hopeless, someone could be feeling um, sad that they wronged you in some sort of way. You could, maybe this is reversed, but I feel like someone is definitely missing you, Leo. Absolutely. All right. Final messages for what's going down for Leo for this general reading. Divine order. Ooh. Sacred reverence, divine order. I just said a lot was going down with the whole divinity thing. What's going down for Leo? Oh, thank you. Prayer, mm-hmm, prayer, divine order. There's a lot going on in the celestial realm for you. A lot going down. <laughs> I love this reading so far. All right, so we're gonna figure out what's gonna go down for our single Leos this week. I right hear shuffle twice, cut three times. Ooh, okay. Shuffle twice, I don't wanna blow these cards away by shuffling too hard on them. All right, I just shuffle twice. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, single Leos. What's going down during these two lunar cycles? Well, lunar weeks, I should say. Put away the computer. So this close encounter is definitely going to be in person. Single Leos. 
different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. I'm getting the sense that someone from your past could be coming back. Put away the computer in different pages. I'm also getting a call. Maybe you should be reading more. I, I know that wasn't love related, but that just came to me. So yeah. All right. What's going down for Leo in terms of love this week? Our single Leos. Single Leos. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Ooh, maybe it is a new person coming in. Love, close encounters, the lovers. Put away the computer. However this person comes in, whether past or old, whether you were on a different page with them at one point or not, this person is coming in through divine synchronicity, divine order, surrender to the divine, sacred reverence, like come on, exposed and revealed birthing a new age. Okay, I do think it is a new person actually. Very interesting so far. All right, what's going down for our Leos and relationships this week? Cut three times, they said. The guides always know. All right, what's going down for our Leos and relationships? Take the one on top, they said. Okay. New love. Ooh, a new love or recommitment to love is developing. Okay, I like that. So much about love in here, Leos. Denial. Ooh. So this could definitely be, I'm getting two things. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. A new love or re recommitment to love is developing. You guys are either getting closer with your person, most definitely, or you are denying someone a chance at new love that might not even know you're in a relationship, but it's definitely coming towards you. So it's definitely, it's getting closer to love either way, but I feel like, yeah, you're definitely getting closer to your person in a certain type of way, whether it's just recommitting to them or denying someone trying to come in. All right, what's going down with Leo's in terms of love? That one. Leo's in relationships. True love. I, this is the romance of a lifetime. This is definitely your person, Leo. Definitely. So much about love in here. I love it. This week is all about love for you and surrendering to the divine. So let's figure out what's going to go down in terms of your number frequency this week, Leo. Okay, what's Leo's number frequency for this lunar week, for these two lunar cycles, these two lunar phases? What's going down? Three plus five is eight. Okay, eight is all about infinity, the unfolding. Things are hot, like, they, oh gosh. I really think you're gonna meet someone and it's gonna continue to unfold and unfold and unfold this year, but it's the beginning of the unfolding is happening during this full moon, during this waning gibbous phase. So you guys are just coming more into alignment with yourselves, with love, with your dream, with the divine. I love this reading so much. I hope you do too, Leo. If you did, like it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you during the next lunar week.